Dear Susan Atkins, Charlie told me your secret. I won't tell. Michael. I dropped a letter on Susan Adkins like that when she was alive. It was about 2000 or something. I wrote her and I told her this. And she didn't deny it either later on. We'll get to this in a minute. But we were talking about Manson's early life in the last videos. And really the only place that you could see anything about Manson's early life was an A&E video that they did. Remember that? It was biography. Street child. I'm a runaway little girl at 15 years old out of Kentucky named Kathleen Maddox. I didn't have a husband. My husband's name was Scott. And he married somebody else and went down the road and she went to Cincinnati and had a guy named Charlie Manson. The first time that I seen that A&E biography on Charles Manson, it was quite informative. I learned a lot from it. But since that time, I've learned a lot more. And there's spaces in that that just they they don't really tell you, they insinuate things. They leave things open to interpretation of your own mind. And people have interpreted this video. From the first five minutes in, it gets interpreted as all kinds of things. It's pretty much be, should be classified as entertainment, historical entertainment fiction, is what it, as well as all the books that were written on Manson. All the way from the beginning of Helder Skelter, all the way to the end of Nicholas Schreck's book. It's all historical fiction because none of those people were really there to tell you. And none of them really even give you any kind of clues or they don't give you, they don't give you proof. They just make you think with your mind and your mind does a lot of things. Here, let me show you in that A&E biography on some of the things that you might have thought were because of your mind were true but just aren't actually true. Manson was born on November 12, 1934, in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Cincinnati General Hospital. His mother, Kathleen Maddox, was just 16 and unmarried when he was born. His father was a Colonel Scott, who'd briefly known Kathleen. First off, when Charles Manson moved to West Virginia, in McMeachin, West Virginia, he was six years old. In this biography video, they interview one of his classmates from McMeachin. She don't know any better. She's just a kid who's seen this kid show up in school. So when she f refers to this kid's mom, she could actually be f referring to this kid's grandmother because Charles Manson showed up with his grandmother in McMeachin. And when they showed the picture of his mother in this video, which this lady refers to as his mother, she doesn't even refer to the picture as his mother. She's just talking about his mother while they show the picture. But all she knows is that is the mother because of the fact that that's the kid he came to town with this lady that's the lady that was raising him in McMeachin when he first came to town because his mother was in prison so when they're showing that picture on A&E it's not actually his mother it's actually his grandmother she was very very motherly looking she was as motherly looking as my mother was so here's a picture of Charlie with his grandmother and then there's the picture that they showed on A&E. That was his grandmother that they were showing, not his mother. And it was a younger picture of his grandmother. When I, when I heard she was a prostitute, it just, I couldn't believe that Charlie's either. His father was a guy by the name of William Manson. Happened to be that William Manson was already married at the time though. And Kathleen Maddox, mother was a really strict Christian person and didn't go for that non-married having kids kind of stuff so Colonel Scott stepped in. People would think with the name Colonel Scott he was in the military. No, Colonel Scott has a lot of the reason that Colonel part has a lot of the reason why he stepped in to help because to get the designation of Colonel all you have to do in Kentucky is apply to the governor for it. All you have to do is be a respectable citizen, willing to help other people, law-abiding, and all those good things about humanity that we're supposed to be anyway, and you can become a colonel. You could even file yourself right now, fill out the application to become colonel of Kentucky. Just like Colonel Sanders did, it's the same thing Colonel
Colonel Scott did. It's the same thing my uncle Colonel Marty did, and he used to get a big kick out of it because it's applied to your name, it's not a military rank. So immediately, that was confusing too because it sounds like it's a military rank and it wasn't. It was just a designation. And the designation is there as just a good citizen. And since he was such a good citizen, he bailed this young Kathleen out because he was way older. Here from the Commonwealth of Kentucky, we have Colonel Walker Scott Sr.'s death certificate. And you notice they put Colonel Scott is his name. It's not a designation in the military because down here it asks, if you were ever in the armed forces, right here it asks, ever in the U.S. armed forces, if so, give your war dates. And there is nothing filled out right there. It's non-applicable. It has nothing to do with military service. The guy was never in the military. He was just a good guy, like Colonel Sanders was of Kentucky Fried Chicken. My mother went to prison for five years for strong arm robbery. Her brother had to deal a trick in off the street and put the yoke on him to get some money to eat. It almost sounds like that Manson's calling his own mom out kind of like to be a prostitute right here when she's, when he says, put the yoke on him. Cause we all know what it means to put the, yeah, yeah, it's kind of, ugh. Um, but he actually says her brother would put the yoke on him. Was Uncle Luther gay? Manson spent many of his early years in the small town of McMechan, West Virginia, with his deeply religious aunt and uncle, living by all appearances a not unhappy small town life. The house was a big older house, but it was beautiful. He had he had just about anything he wanted, I would say. His, his aunt and uncle and grandmother took him to church. He didn't like going. The only thing he really liked, you know, was the singing that Charles loved to sing. This is the picture that I was showing in the thumbnail. That's another picture of Manson's wedding. There, there he is, and there's his mom right there. I got the picture from Charlie's cousin. Yeah, Charlie put me in contact with his own cousin. Tell her she can reach me through you. And it's an email. The line is Kathleen, Glenna, Bill, and Joanne. It's the mail of the Maddox family. And they printed it out and they sent it to Charlie. Dear Charlie, I've always wondered what I would say to you if and when we ever spoke, but I guess that this will have to do. First off, let me introduce myself. Do you remember your cousin Joanne? I'm her daughter Rachel. Glenna and Bill Thomas are my grandparents. They're gone now and Joanne is 70 years old and my grandmother and a grandmother of 15 kids. I remember hearing stories of you when I was a little girl, especially when I would come across a picture of you or your mother. I now have in my possession a picture of your wedding day at my grandma's house. Man, were you ever handsome. I also have pictures of your son and your daughter's Nancy when they were babies. I guess the reason I'm writing to you is to let you know there are a lot of cousins out there that wish that they could touch base with you, but for whatever reason, either have not or won't. I, on the other hand, just thought that I would say, hey, we're still here alive and kicking. Email me, please, if you can. So her mother would be at the top. Charlie's mother's on the right hand side and Uncle Luther's down in the bottom left. Here's another picture I have of Charlie and look at those eyes. There's a legend about Charlie in West Virginia and them eyes of his. They even put him on the news. To an exclusive special report that's going to come up tonight on 7 News at 6. Charles Manson, he's a serial killer. His cult, the Manson family, and their life of drugs and wanton violence shocked the nation in the late 1960s. Manson remains in prison in California for their famous murder sprees, but he wasn't always vicious or violent. 7 News reporter DK Wright will have that special report tonight, and she joins us live in the studio now with more. DK, what do you have for us? 
Well, Jamie, you know, when Charles Ma Manson was just a little boy, he was five years old, and he moved from Cincinnati to the Ohio Valley. Uh, his mother went to prison, so he was sent here to live with an aunt and uncle who lived in McMechan. In fact, their house is still there. Manson is now 77, but there are some people in the Ohio Valley who remember growing up with him. And surprisingly, the way they describe him as a little boy is as unlike a serial killer as you can imagine. So we will learn what Charles Manson was like as a child, but we will also learn from a psychologist what he evolved into as an adult. DK, you had mentioned something to me interesting about Charles Manson's eyes. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what that was? Absolutely. You know, you see these pictures and every once in a while he seems to have a reddish cast to his eyes and you don't think much about it because you didn't take the picture and who knows what right. happened. Well, these, these people are telling us that he actually, even as a child, had red, red eyes. eyes. The iris of the eye, not that he was um, had any sort of problem, but he had red eyes. That's interesting, very interesting. I look forward <laughs> to that. Yes, weird, as our director's saying. I look forward <laughs> to that report coming up tonight at 6. Thank you. So those are the kind of things I do here on the back porch. I just crawl through my collection of stuff, show you what I got, try to open up your mind a little bit, make you think a little differently about things. And like, oh yeah, like I said, let's get back to this. This one time I wrote Susan Adkins and told her I had a secret about her. You know what that secret was? Uh, Susan Adkins had a kid. And there was only one picture in the, that was ever printed of the kid. And he went by the name of Zizo Zadfrak Glutz or something. I don't know. Zizo Zadfrak Glutz, yeah. That's, that was what he went by, his name. And uh, Susan Atkins never told who the dad was. Charlie told me. Ha ha, I like to think I'm doing what I want. Charles Manson. Let Susan sniff on this. Zizo, I'm Zizo. And she knows it. She protects her own. Lulu is a fool. So if you look at that picture of Zizo Zadfrag Glutz, a lot of people mistake him and say, oh no, that's Michael Bruner. Ha oh, that could be the reason why it looks so much like Michael Bruner. Because Susan Atkins and Charles Manson have a kid running around out there somewhere. Until next time. And I feel like doing another video, because these things ain't easy, you know. I have to stand down here in my garage for like two hours and talk to myself and show you things that I could be writing a book with and making money. All these people that are talking about, oh, all he's out about is making money. Yeah, I show you a whole lot of crap for free that I ain't getting no money for, right? Again, if you want to see a whole lot of more of this crap that I'm showing you for free and you don't have to buy the book to get it, peace. And again, I'm not telling you how to think. You think how you want to think. Make up your own mind. That's the beauty of life. And until next time, peace.